Chef, directed by John Favreau, who recently premiered at the 2014 Tribeca Film Festival right here in New York City. I had beer! What is that? He says he misses you. You may recall Favreau from his breakout hit, Swingers, which he wrote and starred in alongside Vince Vaughn. Since then, the talented duo has worked together in several films, including Four Christmases and The Breakup. Listen to me. Promise me that you're not going to do anything. I got you. Swingers put Favreau on the map and kick-started his now successful Hollywood career, directing, writing, acting, and producing blockbusters, including Couples Retreat and the Iron Man Trilogy. I like Tybo, Booty Boot Camp, Crunch, something like that. Favreau, who most recently starred in The Wolf of Wall Street, wrote, starred, and directed in his latest film project, Chef. Just listen, I won't send it until we all say it's okay. Why don't you come by again tonight? I got a whole new menu just for you. Oh, no, no, that's man, not good. That's that's not give me the phone. Give, give me the don't, phone. Don't do it. Chef is a movie you want to watch just to see this all-star cast in action. Robert Downey Jr., Sofia Vergara, Scarlett Johansson, Bobby Cannavale, Oliver Platt, and Dustin Hoffman. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. You realize how many people have read this? You're trending, bro. Favreau admits the film Chef is centered around one of his favorite pastimes. I like food, and it's it's good to meet chefs and, and get to go to their restaurants, and, and it's also good to learn how to cook. John's passion for five-star cuisine made prepping for the film easy. I always like reading books about chefs. Anthony Bourdain's book, Kitchen Confidential, really started my interest. And then the food culture has really taken over, so I watched a lot of documentaries read a lot of books, a lot of preparation for for making the film. In Eat, Drink, Man, Woman, I love the way Ang Lee photographed all the, the vegetable being prepared at the beginning of the film. It totally hypnotized me, and, and I really tried to study that and emulate it with this film, Chef. There are chefs that cook food that they believe in, and people will try because they're open to a new experience, and they'll end up liking it. I pick the coolest towns to shoot that have the best music and the best food. So that road trip that went from Little Havana through New Orleans through Austin hit some of my favorite spots in the country. Music scene, but New Orleans is great too, man. We went to the best cities, let's face it. Miami, New Orleans, it, it was like a, a paid vacation. The film centers around Carl Casper, played by Favreau. Casper is a hot-headed chef who's down on his luck. Food truck's a great idea. We're talking about a white-on-white, 88 -white Chevy Grumman food truck. It's a blank canvas for your dreams. I'm going to have him pull it around. Thank you. Don't thank me till you see it. With a little help from his friends, Casper, who almost loses it all, chases down a dream that takes him on a life-altering adventure. Favreau serves the audience with some drool-worthy dishes and even adds in a spicy hot side of Sofia Vergara. Hi, Nez. Hi, do you want me to come pick him up? No, you're a thousand miles away. It's okay, I can go, I'll get on a plane and, and, and pick him up. Vergara, who is world famous thanks to her role as Gloria in Modern Family, plays John's ex-wife Inez in the film. Sophia revealed what it was like working alongside Favreau. Oh, it was amazing. You know, I always wanted to work with him. I admire him, him as an actor. And to work with him as an actor and a director, it was amazing. Do you like what they wrote about you? I don't like it either. Emmy Award winner and Boardwalk Empire star Bobby Cannavale co-stars as Tony, one of Favreau's sidekicks in Chef. Chef Big Dog, up all night cooking. Shut up and taste this, some amuse douche. Come here, guy. Look at that. You like it? Yeah. yeah. Cannavale admitted the cuisine on set was so good, it left him speechless. My favorite thing to eat was the, uh, was that steak thing. <laughs> I just go like this. Just thinking about it. Since 2012, Cannavale has been dating Bridesmaid star Rose Byrne. The couple is set to star alongside each other in two upcoming films, Spy and the latest Annie remake. Will, this is really going to help your race for mayor. She's a foster kid from Harlem. I'm here on behalf of Will Stacks, and he would like to take Annie out for lunch. Actor and comedian John Leguizamo plays Martin, a line cook and Favreau's other partner in crime. Leguizamo joked while making the film he didn't have to work hard to pack on the pounds. Oh, man, it was a lot of stuff. We ate pralines, uh, beignets, uh, Cuban sandwiches, like 40 of them a day. Emerald went off on us. 
Franklin and Austin went off on us. We were hosted wherever we went. I gained about 25 pounds. I, get, I, like, I did a De Niro for the movie. What are you doing? Dude, I'm putting a little cornstarch on my werewolves, man. It's too humid down here. While Favreau, Leguizamo, and Cannavale were raving about the food on set, the youngest cast member, who plays Vergara's son, MJ Anthony, was also busy salivating, but it wasn't over the food. Hey, Mom. Where are you? I'm in Austin. Are you okay? I'm great. It was a great learning experience, and Sofia Vergara is just drop dead gorgeous. Golden Globe nominee and star of the hit FX TV series Fargo, Oliver Platt plays Ramsey, an over the top food critic whose character is loosely based on the food world's real life ruthless chef and restaurateur Gordon Ramsay. His dramatic weight gain can only be explained by the fact that he must be eating all the food sent back to the kitchen. My favorite food moment from any movie, it's very easy, that's Stanley Tucci and Tony Shalhoub eating eggs at the end of Big Night. At Chef Carl Casper, I would rather have you sit on my face after a brisk walk on a warm day than suffer through that f***ing lava cake again. John is, a, is an actor first, and so he, he, he engages you on that level first. Chef is in theaters right now. It's a movie you want to watch, just don't go on an empty stomach. I get to touch people's lives with what I do, and I love it. And I want to share this with you. Yeah.